Welcome to Wayne's RC. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of my first X-Fly plane. Uh, it came from Banana Hobby. Uh, Bitco didn't have it in stock, so I ordered it through Banana Hobby. It takes a little longer to get here, but it wasn't bad. About four business days. I'm going to start from scratch this time. I'm going to get it out of the uh, shipping box. I'll let you see the whole unboxing this time. Okay, here's the pack slip. Looks like we got a little crease in here. I hope it isn't damaged. Got a little crease here. You can see it. Get it open and take a look inside, see if anything's damaged. Okay. I think I told you this is the X-Fly uh, T7A Red Hawk, 64 millimeter. Uh, this is a jet trainer. For the United States. Take a look at it, being this is my first XY model. I'd say it's. Let's take a look here. Comparable to. Free wing and uh, an Horizon E flight models. And we got some no step stickers. I wish they were already on. <laughs> There's a lot of them. They aren't so bad to put on, just a little time consuming. And some Velcro. Okay. It's packaged very well. You can see. I love that red tail. I just, uh, when it first come out, um, I wanted to get it. Uh, I just never pulled the trigger. I had other things going on at the time. So. Waited. I have to wait an extra few months to get it. I was contemplating on getting a serious uh, 80 millimeter, but um, I got a lot of 80 millimeter jets, 70 millimeter. Um, I also have some 64s, but. Uh, they're less, uh, they're smaller and they take up less space. So. Okay, here's the wings. You take a peek. Stepping on my pack slip. Uh, 
ohm hinges, but they're laminated. See that? Servo's already installed. I'm anxious to see if there's uh, brass inserts to screw the wing onto the fuselage. I hope so. Got the USA, uh, US Air Force, and bars and stars. which is nice and they don't have the surface pan where you glue it onto the fuselage I like that a lot real nice finish I mean smooth you can you can hardly see the foam cells very nice very nice here's the verticals no rudders a four channel plane Bank and yank. Pretty. See the finish? Pretty nice. And here we got gear, main gear. And we got some screws, Allen wrench. And it looks like the uh, control rod, or not the control rod, but piece for the steerable nose wheel. Okay, we got in here. Here's the nose wheel. That's Pretty sturdy gear. I don't think it's going to bend too easily. If you've seen any of my flight videos, you uh, see that we have a um, nice runway, fabric runway. Okay, got the fuselage out here. See anything else in here? And this is something under the fuselage. Oh, nice, beautiful paint job. Plastic on the leaning edge of the fuselage. It's I guess you really can't expect that for a $189 plane. Okay, there's that kind of like duck bill nose. That's plastic. Servos installed. Okay, plastic gear. And there is no damage. And it's the canopy. Nice pilot. Okay, I'll take this out of the way. And I'll show you the inside here. Battery goes in back here. The receiver up here, so you can have a lot of room. I oh, wish there was an XT60 on here, but EC3. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And, yep, brass inserts, so you can tape the wing on and off if you want. 
I might have to do that to store it, but let me see, I think it's an 11 blade or maybe it has a 12 blade uh, EDF in there. Looks like it. I've seen other people's videos and it sounds great. Uh, looks like it flies pretty darn good too. Pick up my backflip here. Okay, let's do a little quick put together here. Give you some idea what it'll look like. Uh, there's a little little scuffing on the wing here. I never noticed that before. I guess I can live with it. Wing on. It's really nice. I don't suppose the elevators are staying up. They do stay on. Oh, darn it. That's how good the pit is. Uh, that one's a little more loose. That one doesn't. But. Battery hatch on. <laughs> anyway, it gives you some idea what it'll look like. Better look here. Pretty sharp. Pretty sharp. Um, we got snow on the ground here, so I don't know. Hopefully, it'll melt before the real winter sets in. It's supposed to be 40 degrees tomorrow, so. Hopefully it'll melt off the runway and I'll get a nice enough day here in November to put a maiden on it, but it remains to be seen. Okay, that's the unboxing of the X-Fly T7A from Banana Hobby. My first X-Fly model. They look, this one looks fantastic. All right. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And have a good evening.